Um, Death Stranding Director's Cut. Uh, Kojima announced Death Stranding Director's Cut, an upgraded PS5 version of the base game that's slated to come soon. Uh, looks like it has 60 FPS and might have additional content. Uh, it also has a little tease at uh, Metal Gear with uh, Norman Reedus cut. going in the box and whatnot. They uh, they uh, also confirmed that it's going to totally use haptic triggers and haptic vi- vibrations on the PS5 controller. And someone else confirmed that it's totally going to have the whole, like, the, like, walking vibration is different depending on where yes. you're walking at. And my dumbass is so hyped. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I can't wait to walk in 60 FPS. Shit's going to be so dope. Can't uh, wait to like just, kiss I, with the haptic feedback. Like that's what I'm excited for. Oh, uh, you know that you you know that that's going to be there too. The, the pissing like in real Kojima's time. Kojima's not going to let you not have that. <laughs> just I'm I'm I've been wanting an excuse to go back and play and and I'll play that game and just knowing it's actually getting that port. I'm like they from, from what I heard the uh the PC port's actually pretty damn good. Also. Yeah, it also has one of the hardest difficulties, so I wouldn't be surprised if they include that in the director's cut as well, because that's not on the PlayStation version, I don't think. CJ, do you think case for DLSS? CJ, do you think <laughs> do you think someone unironically has a shrine to Kojima in their house? Yes, duh. Absolutely. Almost all of tw- almost all of games Twitter does. What are you talking about, Jose? <laughs> <laughs> he, there's my baby. <laughs> You're creepy. Literally. Literally. Wait, is that a BB? That's yes. a BB. I wanted oh. one. Oh my god. Go to Sarah's house and steal it. No, oh no. Steal it. Here he is. It, He's it, very it is creepy. BB. He's very creepy. It's just a bottle. Oh, that's adorable. I like that it's to scale, honestly. Oh, oh my yeah. god. It is. Like it, like it even has the little, like, uh. No, that's to some pro choice uh, person to ask him what they can like. <laughs> Um, oh, CJ, anyway, he's also um, a lamp. Oh my god! He's right. lamp, he we know we we we, yes, we believe yes, you. Yes. Um, Jeff Goldblum introduces Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic World Evolution Two. Um, oh, yeah. Jeff, I like seeing oh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Uh, it seems like a sequel to a game that wasn't necessarily highly regarded, but we got to see Some Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> was that the one that was like Zoo Tycoon but dinosaurs? Yes. It's made by the uh, Thrillville people, which I did not know until recently. Oh. It also apparently has sort of a third-person shooter mode if a dinosaur escapes, I guess. That's what Jaw was telling that's, me. Was I guess that's pretty neat. Mode. You can play as like a, a as like a trapper and like uh, and like catch them, I guess. Clever that's the girl. closest thing to Dino Crisis remake he's going to get. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I feel so bad for him. Yeah. I'm getting uh, Psychonauts 2. I'm good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! And it's coming out too. Rasputin. We shall get there. Uh, Among Us showed off Versus some funny stuff. Uh, showed off some funny stuff in the trailer. Uh, bits of information, including uh, an official hide and seek mode. You don't have to do it for pretend in uh, Discord servers anymore. <laughs> um, I, I, I think they, they announced it like in the Xbox trailer that it's going to be up to 15 players now, which yep. is going to be even more chaotic. Uh, there's new oh, roles, yeah. colors, a literal couple pixels tease of the new map, and uh, yeah, other stuff coming. I haven't played Among Us in freaking forever, but I, I desire to do so. Did you play it here and there? Jeff, it's good. Your Jeff Keeley mask, though. Oh fuck! No, I never got that. I tried. To, you and I were like trying to get it, and you did, and I couldn't get it to work, and was like, you know what? This isn't fucking worth it. Uh, yeah, they uh they re-released it, I think, for the weekend. Because the no fucker one apparently could also get it, so they re-released it. Nobody told me. But can we watch Summer Games Fest? Jeff, Jeff. Started. I didn't. <laughs> oh, I was okay. doing other stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's a okay. for Jeff. Come on. I was out at tag sales all day, and I had to look everything <laughs> up later. He's, you're making Jeff cry. Jeff, Jeff's a big boy. He's got a nice house. He can cry with his white people money. He also walks outside. Barefoot, which which I have many questions. I mean, that's damn. See, I was gonna say that's like a white person thing, though. California thing. That's not a white person. That's like yeah. a, a West okay. Coast, well, there you West go. Thing. CJ's West not thing. even from here, and he knows what's gone. Yeah, he knows what's up. He doesn't even go here. Damn Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> they they drink milk out of bags. We don't need to take. They have advice. a picture for that, apparently. So yeah, I, I, I learned about that. Like <laughs> we're getting too off topic again, Jose, and you did it yeah. this time. Yes, I know. I, I, I need to join the cool kids club once in a while. I can't leave the fun to everyone else. 
You're always in the cool kids club. Oh, thanks. You're one cool um, kid, Jose. Uh, can we talk about the sexiest moment in this entire fucking E3 week? Uh, Fall Guys announced that 2B is coming to, to Fall Guys as a school. Oh yeah, 2 Bean. I love it. 2B <laughs> two two or not 2 Bean? It's Oh, it's weird. The more the more that you stare at it, the more disturbing it gets. No, I think the more you stare at it, the better it gets. I, I love seen that commitment to just being like, whatever oh, we did. Oh, CJ. Oh, he's going to win this I'm, live one. Let's, let's see. All right. Let's look. The, the can't be worse than the Sonic the Hedgehog one. What? Why no, else? Sonic, Sonic looks fine. Let's see. Wait. Oh, I, I don't like that. I love <laughs> it, but Sonic does not look fine. You know he doesn't look fine. That's weird. Oh, oh man. Oh. Like, I saw it first, and I was like... Had you really not seen it, CJ? No, I haven't been on Twitter. I haven't seen I haven't watched oh. any trailers in, in like weeks. I have not followed game news except for today. <laughs> like, oh, that's probably a good thing. Oh yeah. my god, I, I just saw... Oh, this looks like something that like was birthed out of a hot topic in the mid-2000s. I don't like that. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> don't don't nice. deny your urges, CJ. <laughs> oh, we, know, we know you're going to oh, turn sorry. the webcam off. <laughs> Um, okay, so, so I'm actually very excited for that. I'm going to be all over because um, this is a series that is very near and dear to me and uh, and my partner. We we have the puppets that came from the show. I believe it was the third season. Uh, the Evil Dead game. They finally showed off gameplay. I have something. Hold up for that. Oh, no, I know. Me. And it looks very good. <laughs> I, I don't have them in this room. It's it's we have it in um, uh, uh, my girlfriend's old place, but we have the ashy slashy puppets from uh, Ash versus the Evil Day. We have both of them, the demonic and the uh, regular one. They're pretty fucking dope. So I have oh. a an Ash Funko Pop that my girlfriend there got me. Is. Oh, nice. Army of Dark Ar- Ar- and specifically from Army of Darkness, which is my favorite movie in the series. Um, I'm so hyped for this game. One nice. of my first cosplays ever was uh, I went to Good Goodwill and basically made Ash. I literally like cut up the sh- shirt. I made like a chainsaw arm out of like a Halloween store chain chainsaw, and I worked to Halloween, and no one knew who I was, but Oops. I was having an absolute blast and having the time of my life. Ruby. Yeah. There we go. I love- oh, it yeah. looks- Surprisingly, like it, sorry, it's it squished. The best thing shown at at Jeff Keighley's thing to me, like it just looked so polished and it looked so much. Fun. Let's um, <laughs> let's, let's 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 describe what it is a little bit. So it's an asymmetric multiplayer game. There's four people playing its characters through the um, Evil Dead series. Uh, it appears as if it's either an AI pers- uh AI um, NPC, whatnot, or or player controlling the. Um, Kandarian demon they can summon other deadites and whatnot um you have to try to kill each other the uh evil the protagonists they have to go around doing objectives and whatnot so it feels like a much more aggressive um dead by daylight where you're we're not running away from the uh monsters you, you can uh fuck them up pretty good it, it's, it's almost that. like left for dead sensibilities with dead by daylight because like i'm when i'm thinking like well you're if you could have an enemy control deadite then i'm like so then that has to mean that that's like a special deadite that you can always control because otherwise what are you just going to do like tap in for five minutes and then if you get killed quit the game um so the, if, the way that left for dead at least approached it where um if you had the p when you had the pvp mode uh yeah. you were like on a timer for when you could like spawn in like special infected so i i would imagine it's something like that like, like, I don't imagine you, you only summon, like, one dude at a time. Like, there's going to be, like, random deadites running around Thank doing it. stuff for Like, you. a few yeah. special deadites or something, and then you'll have, like, maybe a super deadite also. Mm-hmm. It looks freaking fantastic. And I need to ask everyone, is it just me, or were two of those, was one of those characters Pablo, but they didn't show his face? Oh, no, they showed Kelly beforehand in the, uh, I believe the reveal yeah, trailer. They- there's like photos that have like the main four characters in it, and I know someone from Ash vs. the Evil Dead is in there. Pablo, well, no, she good, is. Pablo is a good boy. You think they're uh, gonna have like the 2013 like characters like from from that one? I would be honestly baffled if Mia does not show up. I don't cool? think she Utterly will. Utterly strange. Hey, uh, for what it's worth, the main character of that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, she is also the main character of Eddie of Fetty Alvarez's sequel coming out. So they're making a sequel. Yes, he's producing it. I think for what it's worth, that remake, right. reboot, whatever people want to call it, that is a really fucking solid movie. It's not like in the same yeah. like haha funny tone. It's 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 the more 
it's probably the most serious out of the entire franchise. Yeah, it's not the game. best Evil Dead movie, but like if you do try to just separate it as like it's a completely different reinterpretation of that basic idea, it is a fair. Like the, my biggest criticism of it is I don't think they should have kept the uh, the whole like tentacle rape kind of aspect because even Sam Raimi has said if he was had his opportunity, he would have never done that in the original if, movie. If I remember correctly, they didn't go through with it in the remake but yeah it's, it's still oh, it wasn't it, it, it they imply there. something it's not yeah. as graphic they yeah. imply that she has something slide into her so it's like it's still gross but it's not it's as like, bad as it could have what been. that remake was trying to harken back to like the first because the first one was like a true horror film the exactly one, like, it just went full like looney tunes and the third one was just on some other even way. more looney tunes it was amazing uh let's see any last thoughts on evil dead it looks good I think it looks fantastic. And I'm just to keep pushing this theory that we're going to see more characters. Like, I mean, I think that one character with the frilly topped like winter jacket is Pablo because his hair looks almost exactly the same from the back. And they already showed that we have both young Ash from like two and army of darkness and old Ash from Ash versus evil dead. So like, I don't think that I right. We know already skins are going to be a thing. I want a Ted Raimi skin. That's what I want. (laughs) Oh yes, please. A Ted Raimi skin, a Sam Raimi skin. We know evil Ash is going to be in there as like a super, whatever, Mm -hmm. I guess like a playable one. We know, um, I want them to sneak uh, in Tobey Maguire. I'm pretty sure Eric the Red was in the new trailer when in the original trailer, it was just some random night dude who, I don't know if it was Eric's brother from army of darkness or if it was another night. He was right at the end because I guess yeah. he has his own like finishing move or something. Yeah, it looks freaking great. I can't believe it's actually real. So it I'm, looks I'm like more for it. polished, like Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, exactly. To, that's to, exactly to be, how it feels to me. To be fair, yeah. that's a low bar. Oh yeah, you're right. Like, <laughs> yeah. It looks like a more game. polished Dead by Deadlight. <laughs> I'm not just saying this because I Kickstarter back that game. I actually really enjoyed Friday the Thirteenth. It's it's just a shame that they couldn't get their shit together as well as like every other thing that happened that was not something they could control. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was all rights holder stuff. And I do kind of yeah. actually feel bad for that game that it really got like cut off by literally a force that they couldn't move. Right. 